Good morning. I hope that you all are already having and will continue to have an amazing day. Do it on purpose. Um, thank you to anyone who comes across these videos. To those who subscribe, who like the videos, um, I am grateful for your support, but mostly hopeful that there's something in these videos that will inspire you, uh, make you feel hopeful, encourage you, or just take your mind off of one thing and look at this amazing scenery and feel some calm in your spirit. Whatever you do, however you see or receive it, it is my prayer that it connects you with God. I'm showing this because showing what I look like right now could potentially be a felon felony so um this is under c it's a youtube video i use it a lot it, it calms me it um helps with my anxiety um helps with adhd um it's very very calming and i use it when i am um meditating um on scripture or any of those kinds of things or even if i'm just reading and what have you and it usually it is accompanied by really beautiful music um, I just have it turned off right now um, wanted to just share something with you um, it's been quite a while since I've been able to do certain things one of those things is to go into a store that does not have a motorized scooter and to be in there for any length of time. That is one of the things that are, uh, it's the bane of my existence. It, it limits my ability to shop anywhere except a place with a scooter. Well, it's interesting how God moves because it's, I'm able to sit here even now and see the succession of how he set up the successes and the blessings of yesterday. Um, Pastor Charles Stanley, God rest his soul. I watch a lot of his stuff and he does daily devotionals on YouTube, which I watch, but he did a sermon and I did my last video. It was called a prayer burden. And he talks about when you get this heaviness in your spirit and you can't shake it and it's, you're not physically ill. You're not mentally ill. It's just something in your spirit is weighing on you. That could mean the spirit is asking you to pray for something or someone. And he said, you know, it could be praying about our nation or our world. It could be praying for a family member. It could be praying for something for you that is in you. Ask God to reveal anything in you that is not of him so that you might uh, be obedient in carrying out his will for your life that he might get the glory and his children be blessed. So um, that really resonated with me. Um, there have been months and months and months I've been trying to figure out what's wrong with me. And it's not physical, it wasn't mental, but I just, it was just so heavy. And I realized that's exactly what it was. It was a prayer burden. And even in recognizing what it was, it lifted off of me. But back to yesterday. What that prayer burden video I watched was about two weeks ago. And I started praying for a few things and definitely for a few people and actually pray for a lot of people and our country, our world, where we are, and just so many things. Nonetheless, I was still that undercurrent of, God, can I just please just go in a store? Like, I want to go into Family Dollar and walk around and with my little basket and buy a whole bunch of unnecessary little things that I don't have any business with. Um, I want to be able to do that. And 
I also spoke to him about something that had been playing on my heart, which is music. If you know me, you know how much music means to me. And I've been wanting to learn how to play guitar and keyboard and those things, but I've gotten in my own way for so long that I kind of gave it up. Well, I pulled my guitar out over the weekend, and that was a prodding of the Holy Spirit, I promise you. Um, but I was tuning it, and I popped my E string, the high E string, and I thought, well, I have no idea how to do this. But yesterday, it got in my spirit again, what are you going to do about it? And I said, well, there's got to be a guitar center somewhere near here. And I went to the guitar center, and I felt really, really good for me. And what that means is, it's my usual pain, my usual ache, stiffness. That's the stuff I know that's with me every day. But to walk somewhere and have to walk around, eh, that's another animal. Can you hear the fear in that? Yeah. So I did actually go into the guitar center and I engaged conversation with a young man who told me in order to replace the one string, it would take him a week and a half. And I thought, wow, I really don't know guitars. Because I thought you just pop the string back on there and tighten it up. Um, I was out of the store before I realized that not only had I stood there and engaged this young man for at least 10 minutes, but then I went and engaged another young man at the cash register for a whole nother like eight to 10 minutes. Then I walked back to my car and that's when it hit me. I was walking back to my car and I said, oh, I was in that store, no scooter, no walker, no what? Oh man, you talk about your spirit soaring. Oh, it was amazing, but I didn't have my string fixed. And the spirit prodded me again. So I looked up work music stores and I found one and called them and they said, yeah, bring it by. And I did. And not only did I go there, walk from the parking space again, that was waiting for me. It was a handicapped parking space during a very busy time of day, just sitting there waiting for me. And I go into the store and I'm thinking, well, I'm not thinking. I asked the guy, I said, listen, tell me how much this costs before you even touch it. Because if you say the wrong number, we don't need to do this. <laughs> Pockets are light. And I was like, no, sir. And he said, well, it's one string. I'm not going to charge you for that. And I was like, God, you better go ahead. Thank you, Lord. And he did it. He let me watch. He showed me exactly how to do it myself. And then he tuned my guitar for me. And yeah, I joked him because it's who I am. He couldn't get my guitar back in the case that it came in. The one I bought in there. And I let him struggle for like two and a half minutes. And he then looks up at me and says, Does this, did this guitar come in here in this case? And I said, you don't even pack your own luggage, did you? Bless your heart. The man behind him is howling, laughing. Because it's like, sir, yes, it came in there. You should be able to get it back in there. But I'm thinking to myself, he ain't packing that luggage. <laughs> he don't pack luggage. He don't pack back boxes. He don't pack lunch. His wife does that. And I was so tickled. But then again, I walked back out and I walked back to my car. And I was in such a hurry because I was running, trying to make Bible study on time, and I was trying to do this and this and this, that it was probably in the middle of Bible study when it occurred to me that not once, but twice in one day within an hour span, God did exactly what I asked him to do. He gave me the ability to go into a store, handle business, and come back out without a scooter or a walker. And it was absolutely amazing. And I am so grateful. Will it happen again today? I don't know. Was it painful later? It was. It was really painful. Yeah, and 
okay, it was painful. I did what I normally do. Prayed about that too. But I stayed in a place of gratitude. And I actually got some really restorative sleep last night. Just so much in that one day. And it took me all of that time to realize that he was doing for me what I had already asked. He was answering prayers that I had been praying consistently for decades. Don't give up on your prayers. Don't give up on God. He doesn't give up on us. Let him bless you. Be in a space not only to receive it, but to recognize it when he does it. Give him thanks, give him praise, worship him, even when you can't do it. Worship him. Believe in him. As um, Minister Andrea said it in Bible study last night, bring his word back to him. God makes his promises. Respectfully and humbly go before the throne and bring him that word right back. This is what you said you would do. This is who you said I am in you. His, what is it? His word will never return to him void. It won't. It can't. Anyway, thank you for allowing me to share with you. It is my prayer, my humble and my fervent prayer that there is something Somewhere in these words that I promise you are Holy Spirit words, because they are not me, that you would get some kind of blessing, be encouraged, be inspired, be blessed, find a lightness to whatever it is that makes you feel heavy. Even find this video and just watch it a little bit and find some peace. Anyway, as long as God gets the glory, I will keep coming before you. Please take good, good care of yourselves. And again, enjoy a blessed day on purpose.